This review will focus on the Army Tactical Missile System Adams. The company Lockheed Martin, which manufactures these missiles, gives them such a definition on its official website. Adams are long-range guided missiles that give troops the firepower to win a war. Each Adams missile is packaged in a launcher. It is also MLRS and is launched from launchers of the MLRS family. Here, in fact, this rocket will be discussed today. Why is she so good? What is its peculiarity and at what distance does it hit targets in this review? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before starting. It makes our content better. In order to speak more specifically about Adams, it is necessary to immediately indicate that there are several variants of this missile, or, more precisely, systems that have indices NG-140, NG-164, and NG-168, the missile has the index M39 in the transport launch container. Proceeding from this, the modification of the missile, the filling and range of destruction, and the target also depend. Let's also clarify why this system has such a name, which translates, as I said, Army Tactical Missile System. Based on the indices that I have already named, this system also has the following modifications MGM-148, MGM-140B, MGM-164A, MGM-164B, MGM-168A. A, but let's take turns. Let's start with the basic version of the MGM-140. The MGM-140 Military Tactical Missile System is an earth-to-earth -earth missile manufactured by the American defense company Lockheed Martin. As I said, the missile has a range of more than 160 kilometers, the missile was developed to hit point targets, such as command posts, missile launchers, air defense facilities, communication centers, fuel and lubricant depots located deep behind enemy lines in all weather conditions and any time of the day. A fairly common question that is asked is how the weather affects a given rocket. I will clarify this when I talk about each of the modifications. It's all provided by the manufacturers. The missile can be launched from multiple launch rocket systems, including the MLRS-270 and M142 HIMARS. The first combat use of the missile occurred during Operation Desert Storm during the Gulf War, when 32 missiles were fired from the MLRS-270. During Operation Iraqi Freedom, more than 450 of these missiles were fired during the Iraq War. In the armies of which countries there are Adams complexes, the USA, Bahrain, Greece, South Korea, Turkey, the United Arab Emirates. The idea to create such a rocket was born in the USA in the mid-70s. Well, in fact, work on Adams began in 1980. In 1980, Laurel World System was chosen as the main prototyping campaign and the following companies were involved with them. In March 1990, after completion of testing at the White Sense test site, the Adams system was adopted by the US Army. And now let's consider what is the peculiarity of each of the modifications of Adams. Before considering modifications, I will define a little terminology, because I regularly receive reproaches from you for certain terms that, in your opinion, I operate incorrectly. Therefore, in order to clarify some of the terms here, which I will continue to use, I want to clarify there, so to speak, the subtleties of translation, because in different sources in Russian and in English this is called a little differently. It's about soup. Ammunition M74 Ammunition, M74 in different sources is also called differently, namely simply an element of a combat element, a combat fragmentation element, an M74 mine or a combat lethal element. In general, as you can see, there are many terms. But I will operate precisely with the wording of the M74 Ammunition. And I want to thank those who constantly write in the comments their dissatisfaction with something you are pushing into such inserts, which, I am sure, allow the audience to learn something new. And I will immediately clarify that in the future you did not have any questions. And what is it? Ammunition M74. Ammunition M74 is a steel shell filled with explosive and a collision with a target and an explosion, each ammunition produces a large number of fragmentation fragments. Well, in simple terms, these are fragments that effectively hit a target such as trucks, lightly armored vehicles and radar antennas. The radius of destruction of manpower is 15 meters this ammunition is not effective against armored vehicles. Well, now we can return to modifying atoms. MGM-140A Block 1 
has a cassette warhead M39, equipped with ammunition M74, designed to destroy enemy manpower and equipment. Each missile carries approximately 950 M74 rounds and has a range of up to 165 kilometers. The warhead consists of aluminum shells with load-bearing elements of the front and rear bulkheads. The warhead has an explosion system, which allows the missile to explode at the required time in order for the ammunition to hit as large an area as possible effectively. This is if we speak in simple and understandable but in general, the system was rated as quite effective MGM-140 Unit 1 was used during Operation Desert Storm. What I also mentioned above. MGM-140B Block 1, in the modification of the rocket MGM-140B. Flight range increased to 300 km The increase in range is achieved by reducing the payload instead of 950 M74 ammunition of the MGM-140B missile, it carries about 275 ammunition M74. To improve accuracy, the control system was supplemented with a satellite navigation system. For this model, the probability of deviation from a given target is no more than 25 meters if the satellite navigation system does not work for some reason block 1, but, is controlled only by the inertial control system. Perhaps the installation of additional thermal protection on the nose optics or missiles. To launch the missile, an upgraded M270 or 271 launcher is used. Rocket MGM 140B Block 1A, tested in August September 1996. During the test, a number of shortcomings in the missile control system were identified. On June 25 and December 3, 1997, the modified rocket successfully passed flight tests on the basis of Block 1, and a variant with a range of up to 300 km and a new unitary warhead weighing 227 kg was developed. MGM-141E, Block 1A, Unitaries. This is the original name. The model was later renamed to MGM-168. Block 4A, Block 1A, Unitaries. It is a variant of the rocket. Block 1A with a unitary warhead using a 213 kg high-explosive fragmentation warhead. It is now known as the Block 1 Unitary Missile. Ah, unitary installation. It was designed to minimize collateral damage and attack the target's critical points in all weather. Its range of 300 kilometers allows you to attack targets far behind enemy lines, and fast charging allows you to conduct continuous fire. The small size of the rocket and the mobility of the launch vehicle make it possible to place missiles as efficiently as possible. Development began in 1999. In 2000, 43 unitary warheads were ordered, which were delivered and tested in 2001. Another 24 Block 1A unitary missiles were ordered in February 2002, and another 68 in February 2004. During tests of unitary missiles Block 1, and, in 2000, the missile was successfully used for vertical picketing at a target. The MGM-64, Block 2, the MGM-164, a missile has a target engagement range of up to 140 kilometers, designed to destroy moving armored targets, as well as to destroy well-defended firing positions and important enemy supply points. To perform such tasks, this modification is equipped with self-located anti-tank ammunition. At the moment, the combat unit BAT has been upgraded to BAT P-31. This upgrade made it possible to hit armored targets, both mobile and stationary, as well as targets that have different temperatures. Also, the electronic filling of the bot has undergone changes. Sensors have become less sensitive to difficult weather conditions and electronic warfare. However, at the end of 2003, the US Army stopped funding the Atoms equipped with the bat and therefore the MGM-164 was not fully commissioned. MGM-164B Block 2, this modification with an increased range of up to 300 km due to a reduction in the weight of the warhead carries 6 modernized BAT, P-31 instead of 13 BOT. A further development of the MGM-164 is the development of the Omnivan, a dispensary of a promising modular flexible system designed to integrate the entire range of precision warheads into Unit 2. 
In the course of modern combat operations with a rapid change in combat missions, it became possible to quickly change the combat equipment of a rocket in the field using various ammunition. As for the cost of atoms, it is also worth mentioning. This question always interests you and you do not always agree with the prices that I quote? According to open sources, the cost of complexes with a range of less than 300 kilometers is approximately 100,000 euros, and complexes with a range of up to 300 kilometers are about one and a half one zero 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 euros. That's what Adams is. I am sure that the video was interesting and informative for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. That's all I have. Peaceful sky to you for now.